Lucid Motor is a startup company uh, based in Silicon Valley. Uh, a startup company is building its own electric vehicle. Since uh, 2007 up to 2014, the main focus has been on developing our own battery technology, which has been powering electric buses in China for over almost 10, 10 years now. So we've been occurring uh, over 20 million miles without a single failure. We are proud for the approach that we take at Lucid. We really go down to the physics in every little aspect of uh, engineering the car. And uh, simulation has been playing a, ro a key role since the beginning. We see simulation as a way to, uh, to come up with a fast design evaluation. So as an alternative of expensive, uh, tedious time spent in the lab. All in all, it's a multidisciplinary, multi, truly multi-physic approach that can only be addressed when you have a product that allows you to simulate all of this environment all together. And I, I want to add the, the fact uh, that the other benefit of that is that ANSYS offer a unique, unified, I would say, platform where all to, to simulate all these different aspects. Our car, which is called Lucid Air, as a new class of vehicle. We are shipping the car with a, a thousand horsepower, with breathtaking performances, zero to 60, mi 60 miles an hour in uh, 2.5 seconds. And we expect it to, to be able to provide a range of over 300 miles, and with certain configuration of the car, up to 400. All the aer external aerodynamics development has been done via simulation. And uh, just by lowering the drag coefficient of the car, that's where really we were able to get those 400 miles that we think we're gonna be able to provide our customer with. Simulation is a key enabler of this kind of product because we need it to have a high power density, high efficiency, external dynamic efficiency, high integration, and uh, interspatial optimization of all these different components. We needed to make them as small as possible. Miniat miniaturization is really the key. I am personally amazed to see the level of sophistication that simulation uh, has come to as of today. And uh, the mechanism, the physics, associated with understanding the cooling mechanism of the transmission oil is quite complex to model. And it required quite an intense uh, partnership, work together with ANSYS people to get it uh, working. And we are proud that uh, we were able to achieve that and the results I think are on everybody's eyes.